Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, create a shared folder on your Windows XP machine and install Google Chrome to your Windows XP. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch my Oracle VM virtual box right here, find my Windows XP uh, virtual machine right here and double click on that to launch that. So what a shared folder is, is it's gonna be a folder, don't push any key if it says anything like this, press any key, just let it boot up naturally. So what a shared folder is, is a folder that's on your physical computer right here that you also have access to on your virtual machine, and this will allow you to um, like download files and things onto your physical computer and then actually use those on your virtual machine. And uh, the shared folder that we're gonna be using is actually on the shared drive. So uh, we're gonna walk through that right now. First thing that I'm gonna wanna do is I click on uh, devices up here. Oh, by the way, if yours, if your mouse doesn't automatically like escape out of here like mine does, if you hit the right control key on your keyboard, um, it should lock out of your uh, virtual machine. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to devices, insert guest edition CD. That should pop up something that looks like this. I'm gonna hit next, next, install, allow this to install, perfect. Once this is installed, I'm gonna click, I wanna manually be reboot later, hit finish, hit the start menu, turn off computer, and then click turn off. So this will shut down our virtual machine. Now that we've installed guest editions, we'll be able to do this shared folder thing on here. We need to wait for our virtual machine to shut down, which it's doing, should almost be done. Shutting down. If we shut it down incorrectly by pushing that X up there, uh, bad things can happen. So just wait for this to shut down normally. And it'll just take a little bit of time. And I'm gonna click on this uh, Windows XP machine. I'm gonna click on Tools. Um, then I'm gonna click on this thing right here. Um, we wanna go to Settings. We come down here to Shared Folders. We click on the folder with the plus button right there. And then the folder path right here, I wanna click on this drop down and select other. And then I'm gonna to go to this PC, scroll down, find the shared drive. It should say shared right here, S. Double click on that. Find main west, find students, AAT, find cybersecurity in this list, there it is and click one time on Windows Tools, and then hit Select Folder. So now uh, we wanna do Auto Mount and Read Only. So in this folder name, Windows Tools, that's perfect. So basically everything that's on that shared drive, you will also have access to now on your virtual machine. So I'm gonna click OK, click OK, and now double click on my Windows XP machine right here. So once this boots up, I'll kind of show you what's in this network drive right now. So share drive, main west, students, AAT, come on down here to cybersecurity, Windows tools. So there's gonna be, we have Wireshark, Firefox, Google Chrome, there's the binder project. We're gonna, we're gonna do all kinds of things with this. So um, Google Chrome is what we're gonna install right now though. So. Now that we have our virtual machine right here, we can just, this display setting, we can just close out of that. We click on the start menu. Um, actually, we have to hit, I believe it's control C on the keyboard. Let's see. We can probably just go to my computer too. And then we're gonna go to I'm sorry, hold on one second. Okay, I apologize. We wanna hit, close out of this. We wanna hit the Windows key and E on your keyboard and that'll pop this up right here. So again, the way that I got there was on my keyboard, there's a, the Windows key, it's right between the FN and the Alt key, at least on my keyboard, Windows key, and then E, and that'll pop that up. We wanna spin open my network places. 
spin open the entire network. We should now see VirtualBox shared folders. That's perfect. Spin open that. And by spin open, I mean just click on the plus button. Click on the plus button right there. And we got this Windows folder right here. This is exactly what, what I want. I'm going to actually right click on this. And I'm going to click on um, Map Network Drive right here. And let's call this like... Uh, just call this our Z drive, perfect, and we'll have that reconnect, and then hit finish, um, and then hit yes. Okay, so now, that's kind of a nifty tool, so now what we can do is we'll click on the start menu, you can go to my computer, and you should see down here now a Z drive, so you can just double click on that Z drive, and whatever is in this folder right here, which I obviously will be putting different apps and stuff in. So whatever's in this folder right here, you will see right there. So for instance, right here, if I uh, if I create a new text document and I call it hi right here, you'll notice right over here, let's click back and forth, that text document will pop right up. Okay, and if I delete files, um, from there then they will delete from here so um, this is going to be a great way for me to be able to give you files that you can install onto your windows xp machine so now that we have this z drive all hooked up we want to install google chrome um, so this google chrome right there double click on this and once we double click on that it should actually install google chrome for us it'll just take a second and it's gonna say something to the effect of this computer will no longer receive updates because um, XP is no longer supported. It doesn't really matter. We can just click close that out, close this out, close that out, and close that out. So now we got Google Chrome installed. So if you ever wanna access, we do wanna set this as the default. So click on set as default, click on that. And now we have access to Google and we can go ahead and, you know, do there, search, um, pretty much everything, the web will now actually work for us. So perfect. So now that I've done this, I'm going to shut down my machine again. So I'll go to start, turn off computer, turn off. And once we have this turned off, we're going to want to create a snapshot so that you won't have to reconfigure this whole shared drive and install Google Chrome again. So, uh, But we want to turn off our virtual machine first. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, wait for it to shut down here, should just take another second, perfect, and then I'm going to click on the take button right here, and I'm going to call it after, yeah, after Z drive, and I don't know, Chrome install and hit OK. And so now we have another snapshot right here that we can go back to. So perfect. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you were able to follow along. Let me know if you have any questions, problems, or issues.